understand my ups and downs. There you were, with sweet love and devotion, deeply touching my emotion. I want to stop. Thank you, baby. I want to stop. And thank you, baby. Yes, I do. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Feel so fine. How sweet it is to be loved by you. I close my eyes at night. Wondering where would I be without you in my life? Everything I did was just a bore. Everywhere I went, it seems I've been there before. But you brighten up for me all of my days. With a love so sweet, in so many ways. I wanna stop. Thank you, baby. I just wanna stop. And thank you, baby. Like sugar sometimes How sweet it is to be loved by you Whoa, yeah Thank you, baby. Oh yes, how sweet it is to be loved by you. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Is it right? Oh yeah. Oh now, how sweet it is to be loved by you. Like honey, it's like jelly, baby. Jelly. Strawberry preserve. Just like honey to the bee, uh -huh. baby. <laughs> I like it. That's James Taylor. This is the Larry Black Show. How sweet it is to be loved by Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's a religious program. I got Scott Wesley Brown over there. In Jesus' name. Hey, I hope you can stick around for another half hour of this madness. There are always times when I think I can't go on When the battle seems so heavy and the road I walk so long When the future seems uncertain and the past just never ends well, I can come before the Father to where my hope begins in Jesus name there is a love beyond compare in Jesus name his perfect peace is always there and the strength I need to live is only his to give in Jesus name in I will fail when my heart is tired and empty and my spirit seems so frail when I've given all I have till there's nothing left within oh, I can come before the Father to where my life Need to 
to live is only his to give in Jesus name in Jesus name Strength I have, the strength I need to live is always there in Jesus' name. Boy, that's an interesting truth. <laughs> Almost an interesting concept. And it is that. Uh, to those of you that don't know a personal relationship with God the Father through His Son Jesus, uh, it's a concept. To those of us that have experienced the reality of Jesus Christ, it's a truth. <laughs> truth is something you believe to be true. And that's not... Uh, I have said that wrong, and I don't want to leave you with a wrong impression. Truth does not change just simply because I believe or don't believe it, right? Laws of nature that have been set into place in this world, the law of gravity, that's an excellent one because it's one that we understand. If you step off of a diving board, you hit the water, if there's water there, hopefully. If you step off of a tall building, you're going to the bottom. That's a law of nature. I believe it's a law that God established in when he created the earth. There are certain laws... If you choose to not believe gravity and you step off of a building, you still fall because truth is truth. Right? Okay. I believe that the Bible contains God's Word. I believe that it's truth. That comes as an act of faith on my part. Now, when I take that step of faith, then it becomes a reality for me. And then inside, I know it as truth. So just because you don't believe, that's why I said my statement was wrong. Just because you don't believe something to be true doesn't mean that it's not true. And likewise, just because you believe something to be true doesn't necessarily make it true. There are a lot of people that do not believe in God. There are a lot of people that don't believe in a life after this one. There are a lot of people that will put it all away as being the imaginations of someone's fertile mind. I believe the Bible to be true. I believe that flat out. Here's a group that believes that. They're called Petra. You're listening to The Larry Black Show. The song is Grave Robber.
Where is the sting, oh death? When death finally comes, where is it? It's not going to bother me. Oh, I may grieve a bit and say, huh, I'm not going to get to see my kids grow up or I'm not going to be able to live longer. Hey, I'm human, I think. I probably will fear it a bit. I, in me, I don't think. My personality is such that I don't think I really fear death. I'd like it to be quick. I don't like to think of laying around suffering. It's not my style. I don't get off on suffering, y'all. But I don't, I don't think I fear death. I don't want it to happen tomorrow because I'd like to see my kids grow up. So I'm not eager for that. But I know that when it comes, for me, that's not the end. Death cannot steal from me what God has set into motion in my life. Death can't steal it because I'm going to reign forever with him. Here's a brand new thing from Carmen. Also sounds a bit scratchy, doesn't it? A certain man had died in the town of Bethany and Lazarus was his name. Bible says he was a man that Jesus loved, and his sisters thought it was a shame. Mary and Martha longed for Jesus' healing touch to come and raise their brother, because they loved that boy so much. But Jesus had a plan, not known to any man, that would soon take away their pain. They was waiting for Jesus to come and say, Lazarus, oh Lazarus, hey Lazarus, come forth. When he died, he went to where the saints of God did stay. In the holding place, they lived beyond. He saw Elijah, Moses, Samuel, even Ruth, and all the others jammed up in a room. He turned around and saw old Gideon standing by the door. He walked up, said, Hey, brother, tell me what's this group here for? Well, Gideon said, Well, all right, this is testimony night. Have a seat, man, because the meeting's starting soon. While Mary and Martha just wanted to see their Lazarus Oh, Lazarus When will their Lazarus come forth? Moses shook his stick, said, now this meeting come to order Can I get a witness for the Lord tonight? Abraham kicked it off, said, I, I want you all to know that I knew him he gave a child to my barren wife. Isaac waved his hand, said, Hey, Daddy, I knew him too. Jacob jumped up, says, Hey, man, Grandpa, preach it. Oh, dignified Solomon, he adjusted his robe, said, I knew him. He made me so smart, I started to teach it. Ezekiel said, I knew him as a wheel within a wheel. Job said, man, he healed me when I was almost dead. Samson said, I knew him when some Philistines tried to jump me. I took a donkey jawbone and busted a few heads. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego says, we knew him in the fiery furnace. Jonah said, man, he gave me a second chance. Daniel cried out, I knew him in a hunger den of lions. The Holy Ghost hit King David, he just started to dance. Lazarus got so excited, he shouted, hey, I knew him too. Moses put down his stick and said, hey, who's the new kid? Needless to say, the room got real quiet when Lazarus said, but I knew him in a way that y'all never did. You see, man, I walked with him and talked with him. I saw how his teachings all the crap. Those famous tears of compassion, I could actually see. Man, he used to come over to my house after church, and my sisters would make him dinner. Every month, I even supported his ministry. 
See, man, I, I watched him confront the Pharisees. I was there when he fed the 5,000. I heard the people gasp when he healed the lame. You see, man, I, I remember the littlest things, the things most folks would forget, like the simple, loving way he just called my name. Up at the grave, stone rolled away with a loud voice. Jesus started to say, You see, fellas, it just seemed like yesterday. I could hear that man say in my Lazarus. As a matter of fact, it seemed like today I don't. Lazarus. Excuse me, brothers. I think I hear him calling now. What? Lazarus. Jesus. Lazarus. Jesus. Lazarus. Jesus. Lazarus. Hey, Jesus. Lazarus. I'm sorry that record skipped on the end there. Mm, that's Carmen. That's one of his new songs, brand new. I suppose it's coming out on a brand new album uh, that will be available on the Murr label, distributed by Word. Uh, I suppose if I get any letters that uh, ask one single question more often than others, it's where do we get the music you play? Uh, some of it's very difficult to find. Some of it, uh, if you write to me, I'll send you a list. Uh, that will tell you some of the records that I most frequently play and uh, give you the addresses of the record companies so you can write to them. A lot of times in cities that you are, you have to really scout them out. Uh, Kmart doesn't carry them in most cases. Uh, Pennies or the Pizza Hut stores, or and there are... No, that's licorice. licorice. Is it licorice? What is it? The Pizza Licorice or the Licorice Pizza Stores or something like that. And in the South, they have things called Peaches and Cats Records and all that stuff. A lot of times they don't have contemporary Christian music. And you have to go to a thing called a Christian Bible bookstore. Strange place for a record to be. And then depending on that Christian Bible bookstore <laughs> and the taste of the owner, they may not have all the stuff that I play. Uh, they may have some of it. They may have some of the uh, oh, Abbey and Imperials and maybe Petra. Uh, but they may not have Carmen. They may not have uh, some of the other stuff. But if you'd like to know how to you know, get some of it, you can write the record companies and they'll be more than happy to sell you their product. They don't pay me to say that. I wish they did. However, uh, that's Carmen's latest. It's called Lazarus Come Force and Forth. Not Force. Forth. Come Forth in Force, I suppose. If you'd like to write, it's the Larry Black Show, Post Office Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. The Larry Black Show, Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. Would love to hear from you. If you want to receive the newsletter, it comes out every so often, I'd be happy to send it to you. If you'd like to help support the program, that is a, boy, that is a real necessity. And I hate to mention it, and if that offends you, then forget I said it. Those of you that don't mind me mentioning that and would like to help, it's a tax-deductible, non-profit corporation set up just to do the program, and that's all we do with it. Just do the program, get it out there every week, and hope you enjoy it. So if you'd like to write the Larry Black Show, Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. Larry Black! I heard that. This is the Larry Black Show. James Taylor, you've got a friend up next. down and trouble and you need a helping hand and nothing oh nothing is going right close your eyes and think of me and soon I will be Brighten up even your darkest night. You just call up my name, and you know wherever I am, I'll come running. Oh, yeah, baby, see you again. All you got to do is call And I'll be there, yeah, yeah, yeah You got a friend If 
If the sky above you should turn dark and full of clouds And that old north wind should begin to blow Your head together and call my name out loud now. Soon I'll be knocking upon your door. You just call up my name and you know. got a friend when people can be so cold they'll hurt you and desert you well they'll take your soul if you let them oh yeah but don't you let them you just call out my name That's James Taylor. Ain't it good to kind of wrap up this half hour. Should be the last half hour on the station you're listening to, the Larry oh, Black yeah, Show for this day. Yeah. You've got a, You've friend. got a friend. There are friends here in Nashville that attend the same church that I attend that say if you'd like to write, they'll be more than happy to help answer your letter. I get to answer a lot of them. I have this little dictaphone that I speak into. <laughs> and a lot of times I can, you know, I have the answers that I want to send. And I'll dictate it and get a volunteer to type up the letter and send it to you. If you write a letter that, I got a letter just the other day that said, you know, I'm at the end of my rope. I have outdrugged all my drugs. I have uh, abused everything I can find to abuse. And I need help. And I call Jesus and I can't hear him. I think that letter, I could knock off an answer. But I'd rather have it somebody to sit down and prayerfully ask God for an answer for that person. So I give it to somebody at our church let them write to you. It's usually in longhand. They usually don't type it. So you have to suffer with their handwriting just like we suffer with yours. But if you'd like that kind of response, they would be happy to do that for you. Boy, that's such an integral part of what this program's about, helping you. If you need it, ask for it. The Larry Black Show, Box 25210, Nashville, Tennessee, 37202. And if you'd like to help financially with the program, please do that. I'm Larry Black. Boy, it's been fun. God bless you. See you later.